G'day guys, welcome to Nordic Fever and Ryan Seller Fishing. Yo. We're fishing off of the beach for mullet today, so we got ourselves a perfect little spot out here off of Chinaman's Hat, York Peninsula. So um, we've got some small little setups here, little burly bucket washing around in the wash there. We've got some aniseed burly mix and uh, just little strips of cockle for bait and unweighted hooks. So we'll have a few casts, mate, and see what we can do, hey. That's it. We're gonna show you guys how to get a few mullet skis, you! So guys, as mentioned before, we need the burly bucket, it's essential. And the burly bucket's just going around the wash here. And what that does is just gets all that, you know, fish scraps, some uh, oil out, and it brings the fish in. And there's actually a heap of mullet here, so let's get a fish. All right, so just real small pieces of cockles and small hooks, guys. I've got little size nines here because mullet have really small mouths. Before I had a sinker on, you can normally use a sinker, but today they're only feeding unweighted, so you can just take it off and flick it out like that. So we'll see how we go. Let's get a few fish, yo. Not the normal rod we'd use, but in with the gamoku. So just letting that bait sink there, naughty? Yeah, just a little bit. Let it waft around in the current. I really like it when it's just kind of sitting there and hopefully they come up and grab it. need to recast and get right in the spot. Unweighted can be a little bit more hard sometimes, but when if you see it, they should go for it. Oh, here they come. They're coming back. Here he is. Oh, yeah, yes. There you go. Oh, whopper too. Literally saw him come off the top and just suck that cockle down off the surface. The Beautiful South Australian mullet. How's the size of them down here? You! Alright, guys, this is a burly we're using today. This is a little packet of bait, mate, and it's just got a heaps of bunched up pilchard, aniseed, fish oils, and all that sort of stuff. And the mullet just absolutely froth it. So every now and then, we just give a little sprinkle down here. <laughs> <laughs> little sprinkle, sprinkle. A little sprinkle here. <laughs> a little sprinkle over here. Doing the gardening there, mate. I'll get him in a frenzy. <laughs> <laughs> We've also got the burly bucket down there. That's got a bit of crushed up, like pillies and stuff, so yeah, unreal. Righto, guys, Stella's turn now, and uh, we got our cockle unweighted, so let's give it a crack. Off you go, mate. Nice little precision cast out into the water and just let the bait sink. What you want to do is just watch your line for any kind of like big taps. Because when you're fishing on weight, it's a little bit hard to tell when you're actually getting bite. Oh, 
Oh, oh. Yep, Oi. yep, and we're on, and we're on. There you go. There you go, and it's absolute horse. That's an absolute donkey. And what happened then was my line kind of slowly took off. And that is a nice big mullet. Oh, That's mate. How big do you think he is? Oh, how big? I'd say he's pushing 40 centimetres. Oh, yeah. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe 30. <laughs> Maybe a few less, but anyway, still, it's a donkey. It's a donkey. <laughs> okay, guys, I think we're going to call it a day. We've, um, we've been here and fish the incoming tide, which is what you want. Mullet love the incoming tide. Now it's a bit full and they seem to have really shut down. So we're going to clean a few fish up now and we'll finish up the day. Cheers. <laughs>